Hi everyone, welcome to this lecture. So in this lecture, um, we'll see how we can uh, implement uh, adding a split panel um, uh, using the Earth Engine Python API, uh, using a Jupyter Notebook. Uh, if you don't have Earth Engine yet, um, go ahead and sign up with this site and um, we'll be using a Miniconda or Anaconda uh, environment uh, to kickstart a Jupyter Notebook. And you can use the, this command um, to install the um, Earth Engine uh, Python uh, API using a Conda environment. And once you do that, um, you can execute uh, this uh, pp install gmap uh, command on on uh, a Jupyter um, a Jupyter cell. And so the next thing is once you install, uh, I've already installed it, so I don't need to do that again. That's why I commented it here. And next is to import the Arzingen EE uh, libraries and also the GMAP libraries for this analysis. Um, next is, um, so we'll be doing a split panel um, um, map. Uh, what it, what, what, what the reason why we are doing it, that is if you want to compare two different maps by um, kind of a slider map, uh, you know, going back and forth, uh, you know, for example, to look at a time series data, uh, you know, what it was before and after an event. Uh, so that's a, a very, you know, nice visualization uh, tool to have. So that's that's why uh, we're going to do that exercise here. So first thing is to create the split panel um, by using this um, uh, first, uh, actually, we, we need to create the map canvas by, um, uh, you know, executing this map um, gmap.map um, uh, command, which will create a map canvas. And after that, we'll um, pass this function, which is map um, split map, which will create, you know, two maps, right? And so we can define uh, the left layer and the, light, the right layer. And then we can also define the background. You know, this hybrid is a combi like a satellite and um, a Google Maps a combination of hybrid. And the right side, we might, you know, say uh, terrain. Um, so we can switch this or we, we can uh, make them the same, you know, background. It really doesn't matter. And then finally, we just can call that map uh, so that we'll have the um, uh, map canvas down here. So when we execute that, we'll have that here. So as you can see here, um, you know, the left side is a terrain and the, the right side is a hybrid map. Um, so we can, you know, we have already this split panel. So we have the, the left and we have the right uh, panel. The next thing is to add actually the data uh, that we uh, would use this slider, you know, to compare to any place. Like if you zoom in here, um, you can see, you know, uh, you can slide this map to see that exact same area, uh, but you know by overlaying two different maps, and this is mostly useful for you know change detection uh, analysis or, or some uh, you know um, pre and post event um, analysis. Okay, so next let's add the actual map, and in this case we'll be using a land cover data from the uh, National Land Cover Dataset (NLCD), which covers only the United States. So for this example, um, you know, we'll use the NLCD data, uh, but in your case, you might you need you might use uh, a different data set. You might use a climate data. You might use a, a digital elevation model or any land cover data, a global land cover data. Just for this example, Timo uh, will be using um, NLCD 2001 and also NLCD 2016 to see the difference between land cover change from uh, 2001 and 2016, whether there is some change over that 15-year period, um, you know, be it for you know deforestation or urbanization, there should be some change um, in in some places, right? So that's uh, importing the land cover data in LCD 2001. Here is the first data, and the second data is in LCD 2009. We are importing heat using the um, uh, Google Earth Engine uh, image ID. This is the image ID, 2016 LCD. Um, and also we have, mind you, we have created, um, so we have a left layer and a right layer, right? So we can input this 
manually or specifically we can input this data into this left layer and right layer, right layer. So in the left layer, we can cast you know, GMAP E title layer, uh, NLCD 2001, and we can, um, we can provide it a title name and we're using this data. So that's the data and this is the name, you know, uh, we give it just so that when we look at it down uh, uh, on, the, on the map canvas, we can notice that, that data if it's 2001 or 16. On the right layer, we uh, provide a GMAP E title layer and we call this NLCD 2009 data and actually that's um, 2016 data, sorry. We don't have the 2000, um, this is a typo, we should fix this. Um, so 2016 data, and then we'll call that 2016 data here, uh, and just give it a name, and LCD 2016. And so again, we'll call that map, um, GE map, and then maps plus split map, and left layer, right layer. And that will just give us the, the NLC data, 2001 and 2009, uh, on the uh, 2016, sorry, on the right and left side. Let's go ahead and execute this code. So instead of here uh, having, um, you know, just simple background here, in this case, we are having what? An NLCD um, map, right? So the NLCD map here. So this is uh, 2000, um, you know, it's 2001 and then 2016. So, you know, the, the use of the split panel is, you can see this area like here. You can, you can see a lot of deforestation here, you see? So 2001, a lot of green and forest, and then 2016, there's a lot of deforestation. That's a pretty cool to understand, you know, landscape dynamics, right? And one quick example we might go is just the popular, you know, Las Vegas area, right? There's a lot of urbanization in that area. You can see 2001, there's a lot of red, you see, 2016, um, there's a lot of expansion in, in Vegas area here. You can see that uh, in the map. You, can, you just zoom in here. You can see that red is urban urban class. So a lot of red in 2016. So there's a lot of urban expansion in Las Vegas areas from 2000, um, 2001 to 2016. So that's the beauty of, um, you know, split panel. Um, a split panel tool, visualization tool, you know, to um, understand and monitor land surface change or other, other events or change. And it's a pretty cool uh, visual, visualization tool. And we have that uh, um, on this uh, Python API. Thanks.